Greetings all and welcome back to the channel for the quick Wednesday update on one of the latest upcoming handheld devices. So this is here, the Retroid Pocket 5. The Pocket 4 was quite popular and I'm sure this one is going to be very well received as well. It was announced last week just after they announced the Retroid Pocket Mini and what we know so far is that it's going to have a 5.5 inch AMOLED display with a 60 by 9 aspect ratio and a 1080p resolution, which means that the visuals on it are definitely going to look better than the 4 Pro. Design-wise, I'm thinking that it has a lot of similarities to the Odin 2, especially these menu or function buttons on the side of the screen here. If you look at an image of the Odin 2, it has a similar design. Now, obviously, the analog stick and D-pad placement are quite different, but I'm wondering whether or not Retroid is not going in to compete with the Odin 2. So, other than that, what else do we know? Well, they have released an image of the color options. So just remember that this is most probably a render. It's not produced units, it can change. They did this with the Retro Pocket Mini. They released a render of the color options and according to a feedback from the community, they changed those color options, which in the end for me was a good thing. But yeah, on this, I love the white with the orange. I do like the black and blue. Even this gray with the color ABXY buttons, I'm not too crazy about this blue with the different color analog sticks. Retroid, please don't do that. <laughs> also, the different the different white and color on the ABXY buttons, they could rather have the color ABXY buttons with just two white uh, analog sticks there. That would look great in my opinion. They've also released this image of these back shells. Now, these are not grips. These are official back shells that you will be able to replace yourself. They're going to be translucent, which is going to make them look quite awesome. You're going to be able to see the internals through them. And we can see that we will have some ergonomic grips on the back, which is different from the Pocket 4. There's also quite a large space for the trigger buttons, which means it's probably going to be stacked like the Pocket 4, not inline triggers. They've also released this image of a size comparison to the Retro Pocket 4. So we can see that the RP5 is going to be a little bit larger and a little bit heavier. Not too much though, I think it will still be quite portable. What kind of chip will be in the unit, they haven't confirmed officially, but they did say that the RP Mini is going to be coming with a Snapdragon chip. They released this info on the X channel as well. So this makes it quite interesting, because if they go for a higher-end Snapdragon chipset, like the HN3 on the INU Pocket S, it's going to press up the price on this unit quite a bit. And I'm kind of hoping that Retroid want to keep this to the $200 to $250 price range, so that they can remain competitive with the likes of the Odin 2 but they will probably want something that's a little bit more powerful than the Retro Pocket 4. So the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset fits that bill pretty nicely as it's an older chipset and it is a little bit more powerful than the Dimensity 1100 that is in the Pocket 4. We will have to wait and see whether or not that happens. If they choose something like the 8 Gen 2 or Gen 3 chipset, we're quite possibly going to see a price range of 250 to 300 maybe even 300 straight as a direct competitor to the Odin 2, but then it would have to have comparable performance. So that's what we know about the unit so far. Retroid has said that they will release some more information this week. If that happens, I'll update in the comments. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll catch you in the next tech update.